Meet Afia. At just seven weeks old, this western lowland gorilla is making her debut outing at Bristol Zoo Gardens. She was born last month by emergency caesarean section, the first gorilla born by the procedure at the zoo and one of just a handful worldwide. Her mother, who showed signs of preeclampsia, a potentially life-threatening illness during pregnancy, was critically ill after the birth and now Afia is being cared for round the clock by a team of four zookeepers. Mum was really poorly after the C-section, um, but she's, she's improving now, which is really great to see. It's a huge relief. It's been quite a worrying month, uh, which is why we had to end up hand-rearing the infant. The zoo is now hoping another gorilla will accept Afia as a surrogate and keepers are trying to encourage her to bond with other members of the group. Until the weather improves though, her trips outdoors will be short and at night she sleeps not here in the zoo but in the keepers' own homes. I'm quite practical about it. I've made sure I've got all the meals cooked in advance. Um, but just because she's so busy in here in the day, you know, next to our gorilla family, by the evening, you know, she's ready for bed. And just like the gorillas come seven o'clock, they're bedding down, making a nest for the night. She kind of does the same. And although she wakes every two hours for a bottle and for some food, otherwise she's pretty sleepy in the evening. So she's not actually too much bother. Afia's name, meaning Friday-born child in Ghanaian, was chosen by the public. But her keepers say she's not quite ready to face the adoring crowds at the zoo just yet.